Can you imagine being cramped in an aircraft by the hundreds only to jump out for a military operation? When you see this, it'll make you claustrophobic. The mission of paratroopers, also known as military parachutists, is to conduct parachute jumps from an aircraft and land on the ground in order to carry out various military operations. Paratroopers are highly trained military personnel who are capable of conducting a wide range of missions, including airfield seizure, offensive operations, and personnel recovery. Why do paratroopers hate static line jumps? What techniques do they use when conquering an airfield? Let's jump with the paratroopers. Static line jumps can definitely be more intimidating than free fall jumps. With a static line jump, you don't have the same degree of control over your descent, and you just have to trust that the parachute will deploy correctly. Paratroopers from the United States Marine Corps are military personnel who are trained in parachute insertion and are capable of deploying from an aircraft using a parachute. They are part of the USMC's Air Ground Task Force and are trained to conduct a wide range of missions, including airfield seizure, offensive operations, and personnel recovery. Paratroopers can also be part of the US Navy as well as other branches of the military. Static line jumps are a type of parachute jump in which the parachute is attached to a cord that is attached to the aircraft. When the paratrooper exits the aircraft, the cord is automatically pulled, causing the parachute to open. Static line jumps, in which the parachute is deployed automatically when the jumper exits the aircraft, are a commonly used method of parachute insertion and can be an effective and efficient way for military personnel to deploy from aircraft. But why do the paratroopers have to sit so close together? Paratroopers often sit close together in an aircraft before jumping for several reasons. Some of the main reasons include space constraints. Military aircraft are often designed to be as compact as possible to maximize the number of personnel and equipment that can be carried. As a result, there may not be enough space on the aircraft for paratroopers to sit too far apart from each other. Safety. Sitting close together can help to ensure the safety of the paratroopers during the jump. If the paratroopers are seated too far apart, they may be more vulnerable to being knocked around or injured by equipment during the jump. Coordination By sitting close together, the paratroopers can more easily coordinate with each other and communicate about the jump plan. This can be particularly important if the paratroopers are jumping in a group and need to stay close to each other to complete their mission effectively. Psychological Support Finally, sitting close together can provide a sense of support and camaraderie for the paratroopers. Jumping out of an aircraft can be a physically and mentally demanding experience, and being able to sit close to their fellow paratroopers can help provide a sense of comfort and reassurance. Let's take a step-by-step -step look at how the exciting static line jump works. First, the paratrooper enters the aircraft and sits in a jump seat with their parachute and other equipment already attached to their harness. Two, the paratrooper hooks up their static line to a cable that runs the length of the aircraft. This static line is connected to the parachute and it will automatically deploy the parachute when the paratrooper exits the aircraft. Three, the aircraft reaches the desired jump altitude and the paratrooper stands up and prepares to exit the aircraft. 4. The paratrooper exits the aircraft and falls for a short distance before the static line automatically deploys the parachute. 5. The parachute inflates and slows the paratrooper's descent, allowing them to land safely on the ground. 6. After landing, the paratrooper detaches the static line from their harness and begins their mission on the ground. It is possible that some paratroopers may have negative experiences or feelings about static line jumps. Like any form of military training, parachute jumps can be physically and mentally demanding, and there are inherent risks involved in any type of parachute insertion. It is possible that some paratroopers may have had difficult or uncomfortable experiences during static line jumps, which could lead to negative feelings about this method of insertion. Let's take a look at exactly how paratroopers work when they have to go and capture an airfield. Paratroopers may be tasked with seizing an airfield to establish a foothold in an enemy-controlled territory 
or to secure the airfield for the use of friendly forces. To successfully conquer an airfield, paratroopers may use a variety of tactics and techniques. Coordinated Parachute Jumps Paratroopers may jump from an aircraft in a coordinated manner to land on the airfield at the same time. This allows them to establish a foothold on the airfield quickly and to overwhelm any enemy forces that may be present. Surprise and Speed Paratroopers may aim to achieve surprise and speed in order to gain the upper hand against enemy forces. By jumping from an aircraft and landing on the airfield before the enemy is able to react, paratroopers can quickly secure key points on the airfield and disrupt enemy operations. Air Support Paratroopers may be supported by aircraft, such as fixed-wing aircraft or helicopters, which can provide firepower and cover during the operation. Establishing a perimeter After securing key points on the airfield, paratroopers may work to establish a perimeter around the airfield in order to defend against enemy counterattacks and to secure the airfield for the use of friendly forces. But what are some specific reasons why some paratroopers may dislike static line jumps? One reason could be the lack of control that the paratroopers have on their descent. With a static line jump, the parachute is deployed automatically as soon as the jumper exits the aircraft, and the jumper cannot deploy the parachute manually. This can be disorienting for some paratroopers, and they may prefer the control and autonomy of a freefall jump in which the parachute is deployed manually. Another reason could be the limited flexibility of static line jumps. Because the parachute is deployed automatically, the paratrooper cannot just adjust their descent or navigate to a specific landing spot. This can be particularly challenging in environments with high winds or other adverse conditions, and some paratroopers may prefer the ability to adjust their descent and control their landing with a freefall jump. It's also worth noting that static line jumps can be more physically demanding than other methods of parachute insertion. Because the parachute is deployed as soon as the jumper exits the aircraft, the paratrooper doesn't have the opportunity to stabilize their body before the parachute opens. This can result in higher impact forces upon landing and can be more physically demanding on the body. Despite these potential drawbacks, static line jumps do have some advantages. They're generally considered to be safer than freefall jumps, as the parachute is deployed automatically and there's less risk of human error. They're also more efficient, as they don't require the paratrooper to spend as much time in freefall before deploying the parachute. This can be particularly useful in situations where the paratrooper needs to deploy quickly and efficiently. Ultimately, the choice of parachute insertion method will depend on the specific mission and the capabilities of the individual paratrooper. Some USMC paratroopers may prefer static line jumps, while others may prefer freefall or military freefall. What is important is that all the paratroopers are well trained and prepared for the challenges and risks of parachute insertion regardless of the method they choose. It is not accurate to say that all USMC paratroopers hate static line jumps, but it is possible that some may prefer other types of parachute jumps that offer more flexibility and control. Could you jump as a paratrooper? What did you think of this video? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching this video until the end. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more informative videos about the U.S. Navy and much more. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.